Hi, I'm Chris Waddle, and this is my 23, which I think should be going to Russia. Okay, I'll move into the midfield now. Uh, my choice in midfield will be uh, Eric Dyer, who has to play. I think um, also can play in the back, can go into a wing back, can play any role, basic, but probably centre forward. But he's got to start. I like the way he uh, plays that position. He's a presence, good in the air. He passes it very simple. Uh, so he's a, a must for me to start in the first couple of games. And because it's the first couple of games are not, no disrespect, are not the strongest opposition, I do believe we don't need uh, two holding players. So I think John Joe Shelby for me, which a lot of people think really, um, for me is a player who I admire, uh, somebody which England need, is a player who can hit a range of pass over not just 10, 15 yards, over 40, 50 yards. And John Joe Shelby's got that in his locker. Newcastle's had a good season and he's playing very, very well in a Newcastle shirt. And for me, he's a player who should be going to the World Cup. And I'd start him the first two games. Alongside, just ahead, I would say Deli Ali, who is getting his form back. He's had a lot of critics this season, um, but he's putting it together at the right time, which is good news for England going over to Russia. So they're the three there. Unfortunately, there'll be players who people think should be playing. Jordan Henderson, I think, will come in maybe in the game against Belgium. For me, the third game, which will be against a very strong Belgium team who've got some class players. So I think Jordan Henderson then would come in, will even probably Shelby out because he's more defensive. Um, after that, you've got other players who can come in and change the game. I.e. Harry Winks had a few injuries, but got himself back playing the 21s the last England game. So his, his fitness levels are good. So he, he's a very intelligent footballer who can get the ball and use it very, very well. Also, who could easily come into the team and people say he deserves a shirt where he's played since he's moved from Arsenal to Liverpool is Oxley chamberlain who seems to have got a new Lisa Leif under Klopp. He's playing him in a position he wants to play. He's scoring goals, he's involved in action. His fitness levels are fantastic at the moment. So he's definitely one you can bring in to change the game as is Lingard at Man United, who's in and out the Man United team, but when he's called upon, always produces the goods, scores goals, got a lot of energy, good pace, likes to play in that sort of Deli Alley role behind the striker. So there's another one of Deli Alley's not doing it, you can throw him in and he can do that job. There's players who I looked at, unfortunately have got injuries and they're going to miss out. I like Stanislas at Bournemouth, I think he's a very talented footballer. Uh, I thought he was a lot older than what he was. I think he's about 27, 28, but very good technician on the ball, sees a pass, great at dead ball situations, can beat a man, and he'd be very unlucky. I, I was somebody I was looking at to think, hey, yeah, he could make the trip. He could easily fit in the team with his ability, but unfortunately, injured. So I mean, my last choice in midfield would be between Loftus-Cheek and Jack Wilshire. I think Adam Lallana, unfortunately, he's too many injuries took its toll. I don't think he'd be fit enough to go. But is it Jack Wilshere, Loftus Cheek? Both had injuries, a lot of problems this season. Jack Wilshere just shades it for me because of his experience. And we know what Jack Wilshere knows what it's like wearing England shirt. He's been there, done it. Loftus Cheek's had one cap, I believe. So it's going to boil down to the fitness levels of one of these two. In my eyes, whichever one's the fittest, goes.